So here we are, we're in Ken Klo at the moment. Just waiting to get some pad thai. So this looks like it's our pad thai that's going in. It's uh, vermicelli noodles. What's in the sauce there, Balam? The pork sauce? Yeah. Pork? Yeah. But a clown wanting to wondering where we're going, getting a bit grumpy. <laughs> so <laughs> So anyway, here's the pad thai. I want to go market over there, the small one. And go for a look. Yeah. It looks like we'll have some pad thai and then go to the market. Oh, look. Pretty good. So, what's in there, Balan? Pork and uh, bean sauce, with sugar, and so pork, soya sauce, bean sauce, soya, soya sugar, sugar, lemon, lemon juice, lemon juice, peanuts, and, and peanuts. Peanuts. Careful how you say that. Peanuts. And who makes the best pad thai? Him. He makes the best Mr. pad thai. Nine nine. Unless you're at home and then you say you make the best pad thai. Is that right? Yeah. Have to be careful. Never insult the chef. Rule number one. Oh, looking good. Looking good. So yes, there you are. Peanuts, soy sprouts or bean sprouts, I think they are. Pork. It's like a vermicelli noodle. That's what's in there at the moment. Nice colourful little uh, stand and stall. So Ken Klo is about 350 kilometres north of Bangkok. As you can see, we're on a pretty busy area. There's plenty of uh, traffic coming through here. It's now about half past five. Uh, the end of uh, January, as a matter of fact. It's actually, it's Australia Day, 26th of January. So you can see now, look, everything gets separated off. So we're actually getting what they're going to be. There's going to be six pad thai made in this one pot. So have a look at this now. This is always quite interesting to see how this is done. So there's one with the egg under it. comes the next one. That's two. There's pad thai number three. Number Number six. So what comes up now? Got some more bean sprouts and also chives as well. I believe these are so bean sprouts and chives. So we'll let that cook again just a little bit more. and it'll be ready for serving and then once it's uh, served up it will then have some uh, chilli and maybe some ground peanuts added to it as well there we are, look at that, beautiful so you don't get that, you don't get any fresher than this on the street stands of Thailand Freshly cooked pad thai. Like I have to watch out, I'm going to get run over here. Freshly cooked pad thai. Here we are. There's number one. And now let's go and let's go and have a look and see what the final treatment is. Now look, some nice crushed peanuts. A little bit of sugar. That pet. No pet. Pet no. Need no, need no. So I've gone up and some chili. Oh, beautiful. So there we are. So there's one portion. Now we'll get the next one. We'll have some lime. Put some lime and some more bean sprouts. Some chives. Something else there. I'm not too sure what that is. We'll have to check. 
tête. So there we are. So let's go and see. We'll head across now to the table and the chief tester and see just how the pad tie has come out. And if it's up to the if it's up to the uh, Kalerna standard. You mix all the uh, crushed peanuts in, mix in the chilli. The fellow gives us a nice cool glass of water, just in case it's too hot. Some chives, and how is it? Very good. Is it very, very good or just very good? Clana? Very good. Very good. Okay, so that's a thumbs up. So there we are. So let's go and have a look now. There's some more pad thai coming. And this one's for takeaway. So look, you can also get pad thai. Takeaway pad thai. So served on the plates. And then I'll wrap these up. Okay, so anyway, from Kang Klo, oh there goes some cows off down the road. Sun's starting to get ready to set and we are now going to start to make our way back home. Go and get ready for dinner. That tie by the way, this is just a little appetizer. <laughs> <laughs> 